So in this video, we are going to learn how to add short form responses to Google contacts. Now suppose guys, you have created some kind of online form using short form and you want that whenever a user is going to enter some details and submit the form, automatically that user should be added as a new contact in Google contacts. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new response will be received in short form, automatically with the same form submission details, we will add, add user as a new contact in Google contacts. So if you want to know how you can set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pabli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pabli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as short form to Google contacts. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we have to connect the form which we have created in JOT form with Pavli Connect so that every time we receive a new form submission, a new form response in JOT form, the details of that form submission will be received inside our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, using this Pavli Connect's automation, we are going to send those form responses to Google contact to add that user as a new contact over there. So let's see how it is done. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for JOT form, select JOT form, and then in trigger event from the dropdown, select new response as the trigger event. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect the form which we have created in JOT form with Pavli Connect. So let's see how it is done. Copy this webhook URL from here and go to the form which you have created in JOT form. So this is a contact form which I have created where I'm asking the user their name, email, phone number and the company. After opening this form in edit mode, here in the build section on the right side of it, you can see settings option. Just click on settings over here. After coming to the settings page from the left sidebar, go to integrations and then here in search bar, search for webhooks. Here you can see this webhooks option, just select it. And then here we have a field of add webhook. So the webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect, we just have to paste this webhook URL over here. Just paste it and then click on complete integration. And this is it guys, we have successfully connected this form with Pavli Connect. Every time a new form submission, a new response is going to get received in this form, automatically that same form response will be received inside Pavli Connect as well. So let's do it. Here Pavli Connect is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response from JOT form. So we'll just go to the form which we have created in JOT form, copy the link and paste it in a new tab. And here we are going to make a test form submission. For example, I'll use enter the details of a user as demo user. This is the email address. And then this is the mobile number, a dummy mobile number. The company is, for example, Pavli. And then just click on submit. So just now we have received a new form submission in JOT form which we have created. And because we have connected this form with Pavli Connect, here we will see in our Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger window, we will receive some response. And in this response, you will see the same form response, the same form submission details. We will scroll down and here you can see the same name, demo user, same email, same company name, and the same mobile number as well. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our JOT form with Pavli Connect and received the form response, form submission data. After this, let's move to step two. And in step two, using these form responses, we want to add this user as a new contact in Google Contacts. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose app, search for Google Contacts. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as Create Contact. Just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Contacts account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button 
and then select your Google Contacts account in which using this automation, you want to add these new contacts. Then just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Contacts account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After this, the first thing it asks us is the email address's display name. So what is this display name? Let's read the help text. It says, enter the email address's display name separated by commas, example, user1, user2, user3. So to this email addresses, you can add some display name as well. For example, what we can do, we can add the name of the person, the first name of the person as the display name of email address. So here guys, you can see that we have received the response of the first name of the person from form submission responses in the trigger window. And here from these responses, we are going to map this response of first name and map it over here. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down, select the response of first name and map it over here. After this, it is asking us email address type. That is it a home email address, work email address or other email address. So I want to add home over here. Now here guys, you will see here you can see an example, we have added some comma separate values as well. In the help text, you can see that. So if you are adding the details of multiple contacts over here in the same action step, you can add these comma separate values as well. Like for the first user, you can add the value, then add a comma, then enter the details of the second user, then add a comma, and so on. You can add some comma separate values of multiple users as well. Then it is asking us email address value. And in this field, we have to actually enter the email address. Just click on this field. And from the drop down from JotPom responses, select this response of email address and map it. Then it is asking us for the display name. So we want the display name to be the full name of the user. So here we'll just click on this field and from the drop down, select the response of first name and after a space, map the response of last name as well. So this will be the display name. Or what you can do, you can enter the details in two separate fields. Like here in family name from the drop down, map the last name and then in given name from the drop down, select the first name over here. Then you also have an option to add the middle name. So if you're asking the user their middle name in the form submission as well, and you are getting that response, you can add it too. Then in the next field, it is asking us address of this user. So right now in this form, which we have created, we haven't received the address. We haven't asked for the address from the user while submitting the form. So we haven't received these details and these details of address are not mandatory, not required. So if you want, you can ignore these fields for now. Or if you want to get the address, you can add the fields of this address over here in your form, which you are creating in JOT form. Then it is asking us biographies, birth day, year, birth month, day, and all of these details. So we haven't received these details as well from the user. So you can ignore them too. Then here we have a field of gender. By default, it has selected male, but in the drop down, we can see all the three options, male, female, and other. I don't want to add any gender over here to the user because in form submission, I have selected for that. I haven't asked them the gender. So that's why I'm just keeping this field blank. But if you want, you can add a field of gender as well in the form and then receive that response and map it over here. Then it is asking us phone number value. So here we have to map the phone number from the drop down, select the response of phone number and map it. Then it is asking us phone number type, that is, is a work mobile number, phone number, mobile number, and what it is. So we are getting the mobile numbers. So I'm going to enter mobile over here. Just paste the mobile over here. Then it is asking us occupation details. So we have just asked for the company from the user. So here, what we are going to do, we are just going to name, enter the name of the organization. So we have asked for the company name and map it over here. Here in this action step, you can see there are lots and lots of fields of details, which you can add in a new contact in Google contact. If you want to get those details, add these details, you can create these fields in your form and ask the user to enter their details. And using this automation, you can add those details while creating the new contact in Google Contacts. So after entering all the required details, what we have to do, just click on this save and send test request button. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details which we have received from a new user from form submission, using the same details, this person has been added as a new contact in Google Contacts. So let's check it. We will go to our Google Contacts account and we will refresh this contacts page once. And yes, here you can see that the same user whose details just now we have added while making the test form submission, the same user has been added as a new contact over here. The same name demo user, same company name Pabli, same email address and also the same mobile number. 
This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new response will be received in the form which we have created using JotPom, automatically from this form submission, we are going to create a new contact, add that user as a new contact in Google Contacts. Now here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. Let's enter the details of a new user. For example, this time the name of the person is test user. This is the email address. And this is a dummy mobile number once again. The company, for example, this time is Google and click on submit. So just now we have received a new form submission and we will see as we receive this form submission immediately within seconds, the person will be added as a new contact in Google contact. So we'll go to the contact page, refresh it. And yes, here you can see that test user has been added as a new contact within few seconds. We have the same name, same company name, same email address and the same mobile number. The same details which we have just now added while making the form submission. So here guys, we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.